Okay, thank you ladies and gentlemen for participating in this survey. Now I told you that I'm going to entertain you, right? I'm a man of my words. So I'm going to entertain you with some funny comments that your seniors have been writing over the years and these have become archives and I'll take them with me to my grave. Now allow me to read. <laughs> For the benefit of those sitting at the back, maybe I can read, says, sexy, handsome, erotic. Can you show me your chest here in order to compensate for your bald head, he says, or she says. You're supposed to write about my teaching. Another one says, I can't take my eyes off of your sexy body, babe. didn't know I was sexy. <laughs> this guy says, you are too attractive, girls concentrate on you rather than on what you teach. <laughs> and somebody loves me. <laughs> I wish I knew if it was a boy or a girl, I don't want this to be a guy. <laughs> you make me horny, baby. Oh my God, what are we having here? Are we having a sex lesson or what? We're talking about circuits. How can I make you horny? Gee, very interesting. Says, shave away mustache so students can concentrate better. So now the focus is on my mustache. Yeah. This guy says, he combs his mustache but not his hair. Where does that, where does that come from? Maybe he saw me doing it in the loo or something like that, I don't know. Now this is one of my all time favorites. Somebody wrote a poem uh, and it's very nice. No grass on the busy road, no hair on the clever head, he says. <laughs> Another person wrote a poem, which is not as nice as that one, but still it's a good effort says, uh, roses are red, violets are blue, the lesser your hair, the sexier you get. <laughs> That's not trying very well, but still, it's a good effort as I said. I cannot talk with my girlfriend in a lecture, shit. <laughs> How many of you are in that position? Quite a few. No, no, no. Let's listen to this. Very detailed. Very, very, it's just similar to me. Rat, rattles on and on like a shotgun. Slow down. Actually, don't be disappointed that you're a bit bald. But you still can wear a wig, provided it doesn't fall off. Anyway, still handsome, with or without hair. But anyway, I'm not interested. I'm not asking you if you're interested, am I? Gee. This one is very nice. Ease your leg off the accelerator. This one is nice. Do you use conditioner for your mustache? Is it at its maximum length cos theta equal to 1? Oh dear. Fantastic. What a way to relate power factor to. Wow. This is innovation. This is innovation at its best. Is your mustache the source of your knowledge? If it is, then please don't set so difficult questions because most of us don't have moustache. <laughs> Amazing. Well, well, well. It's so interesting. I don't know what to write. Is there anything to improve? Oh yeah, how about making the exams optional? Ha ha ha. <laughs> well, we can go on and on. We are losing precious time, but that's okay. Please slow down, dude. You're not driving a Ferrari in LT23. <laughs> and this one, obviously a jealous boyfriend saying, gals still love balding guys. Now this person, obviously, after listening to my comments, he says, since everybody calls you babe, I'll call you sweetheart. Well, good teaching, sweetheart. <laughs> well, more and more. Let's, let's just call it off with just a couple more. 
Attending your lectures is like uh, watching Indian Die Hard, Indian Bruce Willis. The world is peaceful when you stop talking, he says. <laughs> More and more on the head and the mustache and whatever else. Did you polish your head so shine? <laughs> well, what more? I think we better stop. Maybe the last one here. Talk like an M16 set to automatic. Please switch to semi-automatic. Okay, we are going to cut it.